by Dunstan is him up. Gets two. Gets three. What a, what a hit that hits him 65%. Wow! And does it go in? It goes in! It goes in! The wide swing Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well tonight. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Married Ecology Sports. So tonight, we have a couple things coming your way. So first of all, we're going to have our Rocket League team back. They did qualify for the Nate Star League Varsity Plus uh, playoffs in their conference, and they're going to have an exciting rematch against Shawnee State University in a best-of-seven series. So we should be joining any minute now. Also, around 8.30 Eastern Time, we are going to be showcasing what we're going to call the Ultimate Academia Showdown. So I do recommend that you stick around for that. So while I'm waiting for the invite for the lobby, let's go over a couple things. So first of all, let's go over the roster for our Rocket League team. We're going to have uh, freshman Joel Christman V. Corsic playing. We're going to have sophomore Justin Shanklin Shank playing. We're going to have freshman Corey Vicander and uh, Cloden playing. And of course, we have our head coaches, head coach Derek Games, Games Grove, and Ken Labar Kimothy. So we want to thank them for uh, working with our students. I'm going to give a couple of quick announcements. So first of all, I do want to thank HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Married Ecology Sports. They have provided our facility with keyboards, mice, headsets, mouse pads, microphones. Uh, we love the quality of their work. We're using one of their QuadX mics in our broadcasting room right now. If you want to check out some HyperX gear, please be sure to go to hyperx.gg slash Marietta ES. The QR code is up on your screen for a few more seconds. We also want to give a shout out to Over the Moon Pizza for their support. Every Tuesday and Thursday, uh, they have their, uh, if you go to their restaurant on Front Street in Marietta, they'll have their game night, which means not only can you get a good deal on food and drinks, but they have a Nintendo Switch available so you can play some Super Smash Brothers or some Mario Kart. And of course, whenever we do air matches on Tuesdays, uh, they will be showcasing those. Now, of course, our season is winding down, so there might not be too much to stream on Tuesdays. But uh, when we return in the fall, there'll be some stuff there you can check out. Of course, we're always looking for more students for our esports program. We have our varsity titles in Fortnite, League of Legends, Overwatch 2, Rainbow Six Siege, Rocket League, Super Smash Brothers, and Valorant. We have our dedicated facility here on campus uh, at the Gathering Place. We have uh, several coaches for our teams, and we're always looking for more volunteers to help us out. We do want to make sure that our students are doing well academically, physically, and mentally, so we do try to provide that wellness support, and there are scholarships available for high school seniors and college transfers. So for more information, you can go to our link tree, linktr.ee slash Marietta Esports. It has links to all of our social media channels, as well as the links to try out for an esports scholarship. So speaking of that, our next online tryouts will be on Sunday, April 14th. So we only have just a few more left, so I do recommend... Uh, signing up if you are thinking about coming to Marietta College to be on the esports team. It's a three step process. You would first fill out the recruitment inquiry form at bit.ly slash MC recruit. Uh, then you would schedule the tryout at bit.ly slash MC esport tryout. So we have April 14th. We will also have one on the first Sunday of May. I believe it's May 5th, if I remember correctly, but don't quote me on that. Uh, actually, let me double check the calendar. Is it May 5th or is it? Uh... Yep, it is May 5th. Uh, so that will be the last uh, online tryouts. We can do a couple others in between that are outside of those days, but it just kind of depends on availability. But of course, you want to join our Discord server at bit.ly slash Discord and the QR code's on your screen. So screenshot it and uh, sign up for it, and we might be able to add some more money to your financial aid package. And of course, we do want to thank all of you for your support. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following our channel. Thank you for subscribing. It is one of our main sources of revenue along with gifts. So, I mean, I will throw out there that there's this thing called Prime Gaming, where if you have a Twitch account and you have an Amazon Prime account, you can connect the two together by going to gaming.amazon.com. And that will give you access to Prime Gaming, which gives you all sorts of perks, such as free cosmetic items for certain games or free games themselves, uh, or even a free sub that you can use every month on any channel of your choice, including ours. I just used my Prime Gaming sub the other day to help support the esports program. So you should check to see if your Prime Gaming sub is up. And if you haven't used it yet, you can do it to help support our program, give you access to some of the emotes on your screen, 
You just have to remember to manually renew that subscription uh, every month. It does not automatically renew like a normal Twitch subscription. But, all right, I have been invited to the party. So that means we should be joining the lobby any minute. So as a reminder, this will be a best of seven series. In fact, I'm just gonna try to do one more thing. Let's see if I can uh, throw up the schedule. Actually, I don't think I'm going to have time for that. I'm going to do it real quick. Uh, no, never mind. I might have to do it in between because it looks like that we are going to be hopping in here any second. So I'm just waiting for everyone to join the game here, and we will get this best of seven series underway. And it looks like Marietta will be on the orange side this time. So once everyone's in, Shawnee State is in. Now we're just waiting for Marietta to hop in. Uh, looks like they're not ready yet. So you know what? I am going to go ahead and throw out the uh, the schedule here while we're waiting here. Just to give you an idea of what's going on this week. Uh, as we said, uh, we have our match against Shawnee State any second now. Uh, later on tonight, uh, we will have a special ultimate academia showdown which does involve some super smash brothers ultimate so i definitely recommend checking it out and then saturday will be the final smash match for our team they'll be playing against Tri university and then our fortnite team is going to be returning where they'll participate in the second open of the nace star league zero build split um, our uh, navy team did very well last time they finished fifth overall so just a little bit shy of auto qualifying but we'll see if they're able to qualify uh, this weekend and we're also hoping that our white team will be able to compete and we'll see how they do so I'm still waiting for Everyone to hop in. I don't think the pioneers are ready just yet But so I think Shawnee State's gonna wait until Marietta is ready, but we should be starting any second now I'm just excited as you are Marietta is starting to hop in so is Shawnee State so we should be getting this underway. So let's go ahead and get this going here. Marietta College versus Shawnee State. First round of the playoffs. Winner moves on to the quarterfinals. Loser will go home. And we're already seeing Nightshade trying to take control of the ball, but Shank is going to stop it. Clone's gonna take control. He uses all of his boost. But now Shank's gonna knock it towards the goal. And of course it goes for the rebound, but it does get blocked by Nightshade. You know, Clone's gonna try to set up the play, but the Craigster is able to block it. Shane's gonna knock it away, go for the save, and Clone gets it away and has a breakaway, and it does not go in. You hate to see that. Pioneers had a perfect opportunity to get on the board, and they were not able to capitalize on Shawnee State's mistake. Shank is now taking the ball down the field. Looking for that opening, goes on the other side of the field. Corsic's going to try to take control of the ball. Shank's going to fall back to play defense, or at least disrupt it. Now he's going to try to take a stab at scoring. Cloden's going to be there to help assist, but Craigster's going to knock it towards the corner. Side shot goes in, and Cloden is able to strike first for the Pioneers. Let's take a look at that again. Craigster hits in the corner, but Clona gets the right angle into that far corner, top left corner shot. And Pioneers will be on the board first. 359 remaining in this first game. See, Craigster does win the, the tip off, but Corsic's going to knock it over towards Shank, but going to pass it back. Corsic's going to hit the crossbar. Will there be a follow up? And Cloden does miss, though, unfortunately. So now the ball's heading towards Pioneer's side of the field. Shawnee State's going to go for a set, but Clonin does knock it away. We're going to try to use that boost. Ball's going to strike the stream, but it does get blocked by Shadow. Nightshade's going to get demoed. Of course, it's going to tip the ball in the air. Shadow misses, but the Craigster is there for the recovery. Shank's going to take another shot. Nightshade uh, will block it, but Shadow is going to get demoed by Shank. Clonin tries to go for the follow-up, but it gets knocked away by Shadow. Clonin still has some boost, but Shank's going to try to tip it towards the center. But no follow-up, a little bit of bumping left and right. And we would see that because, I mean, this is a huge game. It's As I said earlier, winner moves on. And if you lose, you are done for the season. So Craigster is going to try to take control over. Clonin's going to be looking for the block. He does get it. But going to go for the rebound. Shank gets another block. And a big bump there by Corsic. 
to slow down Shawnee State. But Shadow's going to try to center up, but Clodo's going to take the ball down the field. Crankster going to get down, but this might be the opening that Clodo was looking for, but does not get the momentum he's looking for. Corsi goes for the follow-up. Shank's going to go for the shot, but the Crankster does get it away from him. So now Clodo was going to try to fight for control, but now Shawnee State has the opening. But they're still fighting for it, and Clodo is able to knock it away. Shank gets away from uh, Nightshade. But we're going to see Shawnee State trying to take control back. Shadow's fighting with Corsic. Does lose that fight, though. And Clone's going to fly over. And Avi Corsic does get on the board. What happened there? It just gets it over Shadow. And just a slight lob. And it just tips in. I think Shawnee State actually tipped it in. So now Pioneers are up 2-0, 2 minutes, 6 seconds. But that's still not necessarily a comfortable league in Rocket League. Because as you know... People can score at any time. Now Nightshade's gonna try to set up. And just like that, Craigster is able to st strike back, turning us into a one game gap, or one score gap, I'm sorry, with a minute 58 remaining. So I have to emphasize, it is not over yet. Two minutes is a long time in Rocket League. So Marietta cannot relax at all. And we're going to see an, another shot just like that in, in less than 10 seconds. Shawnee State has tied up the game. And that one goes in by Shadow. Cloto was just not able to connect with the block. And now it's a tie game. So the Pioneers are going to have to fix some of these careless mistakes. Now Nightshade's going to try to take the ball down the field. Going to lose it, but Corsic will get away from the Craigster. But another opening, and, and then less than 20 seconds, Shawnee State scores three goals. I kid you not when I say you, you can score at any time. That was not an April Fool's joke. So now Shawnee State is up three to two. And we're seeing that momentum shifting completely into Shawnee State's favor. Shanks going to try to knock the ball, but it's going to go straight uh, into several from Shawnee State. Shanks tries to knock away. Clodin goes for the crossbar. No follow-up. Of course, it's going to go for that follow-up, but it's going to go into the corner. Shadow's going to center the ball, passing it over to the Craigster, but it's going to get knocked away. Nightshade is there for the block. And Corsic's going to get demoed, and that's going to give Shadow the opportunity to score, and now they have a two-score lead with a minute 15 remaining. So we're seeing in about a minute, Shawnee State has scored four goals. And Marietta has yet to respond to that streak. It's technically it's a 4-0 run for Shawnee State at this point. So now Nightshade's gonna try to take the ball over to the uh, Pioneers. Craigster is going to tip the ball in the air. And Shadow's going to go for another shot. It's going to hit the crossbar, but it does get knocked away. One minute remaining. And Craigster is going to get demoed, so that will stop Shawnee State's offense. But we're going to see Shadow still trying to set up the play. Gets it away from Craigster, but another shot actually by Craigster. I thought it was Craigster, but I was definitely incorrect. Golden gets it by Nightshade. But now I'm going to try to go for an opportunity for a strike. But Shank is going to miss. 30 seconds remain. Pioneer is still down by two. Crankster is going to knock it over towards the side. Corson is going to pass it over to Cloden. He's going to go for the shot. And Cloden does score. So now it's a one score differential. 22 seconds left. So the Pioneers have responded. But they don't have a whole lot of time if they want to tie up this first game. So it's a tie tip off, and it's going to go straight over towards Shawnee State side. Chris is going to try to knock it away. It gets centered up, but Nightshade knocks it towards the, the Marietta's goal, and it does not get blocked. It was double committed by the Pioneers, but they were not able to block it in time. So see, just a little too late, and the Pioneers actually uh, helped knock it in. Now it's another two score differential with 11 seconds.
As the ball's heading towards Marietta's goal. Shadow's gonna try to secure another one in. Does not connect. And that is going to be the first game once it lands. So Shawnee State will take the first game five to three. So we saw there that Marietta had a good lead. They had a 2-0 lead, but Shawnee State came right back into it and were able to have four unanswered goals within a minute, given the lead. And while Marietta was able to respond, it was just not enough because Shawnee State was able to score again to secure that first game. It is a best of seven series, though. So it is now going to be first to four to win the game. So it's still a lot of Rocket League left, but we're going to have to see how the Pioneers can make adjustments. How can they not make some of the mistakes that they made in that first game? But all right, we are getting into the second game, so we should be starting any second. I'm going to go ahead and swap over because they should be starting any time now. In fact, here we go. And we're going to see Cloden scoring first uh, for the Pioneers. And I just realized Vatamog was not showing up here. So uh, we're just not going to have the, the boost, unfortunately. So that's okay. We're just going to have to do without the uh, the boost UI. But that's okay. But Cloden does score first and does get the save. We see Cloden is going to get demoed. Shawnee State recognizing uh, the threat by Cloden, putting a lot of pressure onto the Pioneers. Ball heads over to that right corner. Nightshade's going to try to set it up for Shawnee State. We see Ball gets tipped towards the center. Corsic flying over, used up all of his boost to get there. But now it's going to get tipped over towards the center. And it's going straight down the Marietta side of the field, but Shank is there to try to fight back. But Nightshade takes the way, trying to center up. A nice tip away by Cloden, though, who's now going to try to fly over. Shank's going to get demoed, but does not go in. Cloden's going to get a demo onto Nightshade. Now Shadow's going to take the ball, and Shadow's going to get demoed. Is there anyone who's not going to get demoed in this game? That's a good question. See, Corsic. It's going to be into the ball here. going to set up the play, and Shank is going to demo Shadow. So I think at this point, everyone in Shawnee State has been demoed at some point. Of course, it's going to go for the boost, but does not get there. Crankster is now going to get demoed. So now Clone's going to try to make a play, using up all of his boost, centering it up. Shank's going to go for the shot. But Crankster is there for the block. 317 remain. Pioneers are up by one. Of course, they're going to try to set the goal, but Shadow is there for the block. Now, Cloden is going to try to take control of the ball, passing it over to Shank. who's going to pass it back to Cloden, go for the shot, but it does get deflected back, and Crankster is going to take it down the field. Corsic's going to get demoed. Shawnee State's going to try to use this opportunity to score, but Cloden is back to knock it towards Shawnee State's side. Corsic and Cloden are trying to tag team this offensive play. Cloden is going to be knocking over towards the other side. Shank is there, but does... Gets the full boost towards the center. But now Craigster trying to take control of the ball. Loses it. Shadow now going to set up for Craigster to go for a shot. But everyone misses. And a nice block from Corsic. Going to look for that opportunity to score. But Shadow does get the save. Now Cloden's going to set it up for Shank. But it gets knocked away just a split second beforehand. Cloden's going to fall back. Corsic's now going to take around. Gets bumped by Nightshade though. So he's going to have to fall back. Doesn't have any boost. Well, now he's got full boost. Shank, meanwhile, is going to try to tip towards the center. Neutral ball, passing it to Corsic. But Nightshade is going to go for the shot. Hits over towards the side. Cloden knocks over to the corner. And now Craigster going to try to set up the play. But Corsic going to center the ball a little bit. But Shadow is going to go for the shot. It is a little to the right. But we're going to see the rebound come up. But a great save there by Shank. Craigster is going to go for another shot. And Shank makes the commit and does knock it away. And there is some contention towards the uh, the middle here. Shank's going to fly towards the air. Shadow does get the tip and the credit for the save. Corsic's going to try to set it up. 
Shikoku goes for the shot, doesn't get it. A minute 30 remains. Pioneer still up by one. Cancel that. Crankster does get credit for that uh, goal. So knocks it towards the field. And Shang tries to get the block, but he misses. And there's no one else for a backup. So now it's one apiece. A minute 29 remaining. And this is the way this game's been going. Next score could win the game. Now Shank's going to try to set up the play. Corsic does get demoed. So now Cloven's going to be fighting for it. Shadow's going to knock it away from the goal. We see Corsic fighting for it. Passing it to Shadow. He's going to pass it over to Nightshade. But it's a little bit to the right to marry in his favor because no one was over at the goal to block it. Corsic was trying to fight for it. One minute remains. Corsic is going to try to center it up for Cloven. Stops it in the middle. But now it goes back to Marietta's side of the field. Of course, it's going to knock it away, but it gets tipped back. Of course, it goes to the bump to disrupt Shadow. And Clona is going to uh, block or demo Nightshade. Of course, it's now going to look to get the boost, take control of the ball, gets it by Shadow, but does not get it by the Crankster. But who does lose it to Clona? 30 seconds remaining. It's still one apiece. And Marietta's going to try to take the ball down the field, but Shadow does take it back. So now Craigster is going to tip the ball in the air, trying to set the play. Shank does knock it over. Cloden going to try... Uh, goes the wrong direction, not what he's looking for. So now Shank's trying to get it away. Of course it knocks it down the field. Five seconds remaining. So the question is, can Marietta score here, or are we going to go into overtime? It looks like it is going to go into overtime. Finance have to be very careful. Using overtime, it could be a very quick score. Breaks is going to take it down the field. I see Clonin going to try to set it up. But a huge save there by Shank. Shadow was trying to go for the strike, but Night Shank tries to go for the play, but Shank's going to knock it away. But now Crankster is going to try to center it up for Shawnee State. Clonin taking the ball down the field. I don't think he has much boost left, though. Going to try to get it by Shadow. Goes for the shot but doesn't get it. So now Shank's gonna set it up for Corsic to go for a shot, but doesn't get it, but he will get the demo onto Shadow. Meanwhile, Shank and Knight are gonna fight for the ball, and Cloden is there too, but Craigster gonna try to center it up. Corsic knocks the ball down the field. Shadow's gonna look for the save, he does get it. Corsic goes for another shot, but Shadow gets the save as well. So that's two saves uh, for Shadow. Craigster knocks it towards the center. And Corsic misses. Shank's going to be able to get it away from the goal just in time. But now Cloden's going to be looking to take the ball down the field. Gets it by Craigster. But Shadow's now going to be bringing the ball down. But Cloden's going to demo Nightshade. Is that Marietta's opportunity? Shank's going to go for the shot. Craigster does get the block. And another shot towards Shawnee State side, but it is going to get knocked away. Mary is going to have to fall back, play defensively. Clone's going to take control and gets full boost. But it's going to lose it to Craigster. Of course, it gets it away from the goal. The Craigster is trying to keep up the contention, but of course, it's now going to be passing it to Cloden. Going to go for the shot, but Shadow does get it away from him. Shank's going to fall back. Gets a little bit of a bump, but we're going to see Shawnee State trying to set up the, the play. We're already about two minutes into this overtime. Of course, it goes for the shot, but it's going to go wide left. A huge demo onto the Crankster. If that ball was lined up a little bit better, it would have gone in. But now Nightshade's going to go for the goal, but Corsic uses his boost to get it away. Still has plenty of boost and gets a huge bump onto the Crankster, who gets it away from Clone. And now Corsic and Shanker will, will fall back. To try to bounce away, but an open goal. Marietta's got to be very careful right there. That could have been costly. Fortunately, Shawnee State was not able to take advantage of it. But Nightshade's going to try to center it up for Shadow to go for the shot. And it's just hitting by the thread, but Marietta is able to get it out. Nightshade going to secure the shot, though. And they will take game two, two to one. You see how close it was in there. But the problem is the, the Pioneers were not able to secure the ball away from the goal. It was still neutral with that little tap. And Shawnee State will take game two.
So now the Pioneers are behind. I mean, they were behind in game one, but now it's even a bigger deal because they still have to win four of the next five games. Yeah, they're going to have to win four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they're going to have to win four of the next five games if they want to take the series here. And we're already going to get things set up for uh, game three. Everyone's going to be ready here. So I'm just going to give it a second for everyone to confirm that they're going to be hopping in. But, so we'll go ahead and swap over here. We should be starting any second. There we go. It's going to be game three. Pioneers are down by two. It's first to four to win this series. But we see Shawnee State kind of finding their stride in here. Merritt has not been able to take as many shots as they would like. We're going to see Shadow taking the ball down the field. Golden's going to get it away from Craigster. And Shank's going to try to knock it down, but Shane's going to try to keep up that uh, pressure onto Shawnee, for Shawnee State. But Golden gets it away from Craigster but, and tries to get it by Shadow and will do so. And a huge play there by Cloden. Let's take a look at this again. Flies it over, gets it past Shadow, it bounces and just smacks it down because Nightshade was predicting the ball to go up, but Cloden was able to say, nope, spikes it down to get it away from it and the Pioneers will be on the board first. What we've seen is for the past two games where the Pioneers do get an early lead, but Shawnee State is able to come back into it. So we're going to see Nightshade going to set it up for Shawnee State, goes for the shot, and just like that, it's a tie game once again, less than a minute into uh, game three here. Shane tries to go for the block, but Nightshade is able to smack it down himself. And now it's one apiece. Here's see neutral hit. Now, of course, it's going to be fighting for control, but... Uh, Shadow is going to take it away. Cloden maybe looking for a shot, but he's not going to get the angle he wants. Shadow's going to go for the goal, but Shank does get the block. Gregson goes for the rebound, but it goes a little too high. Cloden's going to try to go down the field, but does not have any boost. And Nightshade's going to get it away from Corset, going to try to not snatch it back. Looking for the play, but Shadow is going to pass it over to Craigster. Cloden goes for the shot and finds the opening. And Pioneers will strike again, taking back the lead. So a great opening. We saw the commit from uh, Shawnee Steve. And Cloden was uh, able to capitalize on that opportunity. So now it's 2-1, 343 remaining. Tri State won the tip off, but Shank is going to try to take the ball down the field. But Shadow is going to snatch it back. Cloden's going to take it, try to take control over it. Craigster is going to be fighting for it. And Shank's going to take it down the field. And this is where Shawnee State just went all in and got punished for it. Shank's going to get credit for that. You see, he's stoked about it. Just taking it all the way down. Nitrate trying to come back, but did not have enough boost. And now Pioneers are up 3-1. to one. We have seen this story before, though. Being up two, a two-goal lead does not mean much in this game, especially with as much time remaining. Marietta has to keep the momentum going, though. They cannot be complacent. They cannot uh, let up. Cloden's going to get demoed. Shawnee State's going to try to capitalize on this, but Corsic does get the uh, the tap there to prevent the strike at the goal. Cloden now trying to be very patient with the ball, but loses control over it. And this is Shawnee State is looking for. They go for the shot, but does not get it. Corsic going to try to take the ball down, but loses it. Cloden now just going to play very patiently. Gets one juke, does not get the other, though. Although pretty good ball handling considering he did not have any boost. Shank's going to get the block. But we're seeing Pioneers are do not have a lot of boost. Shawnee State trying to take as much away from Marietta as possible so they cannot continue to be in the fight. Golden's going to be tapping it towards the side. Shadow's going to be knocking towards the center. Shank's going to look for this opportunity, but the ball is just a little too high. Cloden going to go for the score, and that was a huge play there. Shank with the demo. Let's take a look at this. Knocks the crossbar, goes straight for the demo onto Nightshade. Cloden with the follow-up, and now the Pioneers are up 3-1, to 2.20 remaining. That's what you want to see. 
You have to disrupt the goalie as you're playing offensively. Of course, they're going to take the ball down to the field. Toronto trying to center it up. Passing it over to Shank, where the ball tips towards the side, but Nightshade's going to get it away. Binder's got to fall back. Prancer's going to set up, but Shank's going to knock it away from the goal. Cloden and Gorsic kind of fight for it, but it's flying over. Gorsic knocks it towards the side. Craigster's going to get demoed by Shank. Nightshade taps it towards the side. Cloden going to go for the shot. And Nightshade's going to get demoed by Cloden. Now Gorsic going to go for just knocking it towards. And then goes for the shot, hits the crossbar. Cloden's going to get another demo on Craigster. Shank goes for the shot, but Nightshade is there to take it away. But Cloden's now going to try to get away from Shadow. But Craigster does bounce it off the, the wall. And a little bit of bumping going on here, trying to disrupt where everyone wants that ball to go. But Nightshade's going to try to use this opportunity to score. But it does get blocked. Corsa gets demo, but he is back in here. Craigster going to try to set it up. Shank does get the, the, uh, the block. Now Craigster trying to set up. Shank knocks the way. Minute 10 remains. Now, of course, it tries to get away from Nightshade, but now Nightshade's going to use his opportunity to score, but he misses. So does Shadow and the Craigster. And this is the opportunity that Mary is looking for, and Shank is going to punish that triple commit. Let's take a look at this again. One miss. No, we, we only saw the last miss, but an exposed goal means another goal for the Pioneers. So now it is five to one with a four goal difference. They still cannot let up though. Anything can happen in less than a minute. We saw in game one that Shawnee State is able to score four goals in a minute. But if the Mer if the Pioneers can just delay as much as possible, this will become more favorable for them. Clover's gonna be fighting the 50-50. Neither one wins actually. Now Nightshade's gonna take the ball down the field. Gonna go for the shot. Corsic is there for the block. Craigster's looking for the follow-up, but does not get it. Less than 30 seconds remain. Pioneer still up by four. Corsic going to try to get away from Shadow. Does not have any boost left. Going to try to center it up. And Clonin goes for the shot, but he's not able to get it. Gets bumped at the end of that play. 10 seconds remain. Corsic's going to get a bump. Let's see, Clonin and Shank do get the knock away. And Pioneers look like will be able to take the first game, even if Shawnee State scores right now. And Marietta with a huge game three there, taking that five to one. So the Pioneers might have been behind, but they are not down just yet. So a great game there uh, by, yeah, just a great game by the Pioneers there. We saw Clone with three shots, making three for three, three shots, three goals. Shank was two shots and two goals. So just very impressive play there by the Pioneers. But they still need three more wins if they want to move on to the uh, quarterfinals. So we will see here, uh, making sure that everyone is ready. So we should be getting into game four very soon. As soon as they're ready, we'll go ahead and get into uh, this game. And we should be starting any second here. But all right, here we go. It is two to one, Shawnee State's favorite, but we'll see if the Pioneers can tie up this series. But there's an exposed goal. Mary's gotta be careful, but a great block there by Shank. But now Clovis gonna be going for a strike and Marianna will strike first in 11 seconds. We're seeing a recurring theme here with Cloden being able to score very early in these games. So let's, we'll see if the Pioneers can keep up that momentum. I mean, 11 seconds is pretty fast, but that does mean there's still a lot of time uh, in this game. Now Shank's gonna be taking the ball down the field. And just kind of bounces a little bit. Corsi gonna set it up. Cloden's going for a shot, but he does not connect. Shank's now going to try to center it up. Corsi is gonna go for the play. He does not connect, but Cloden gonna get the tip, recognizing what Shawnee State was trying to do. Corsic gets the tip, and now it's going to go over to that side corner. Nightshade going to go for the shot, but he doesn't quite connect. Going for the goal, but Shank does get credit for the save. Shadow, though, is going to be able to get the rebound and is now tied one apiece. 
So Mariana committed to that first goal, but there was no one available for the rebound. And that did give Shawnee State the opportunity to tie it up. So one apiece. So it's pretty much 0-0 at this point. Now we see big shot by Shank, but Shadow is going to get the block. Shank's looking for the follow-up. Hits the crossbar. Blown going to go for the rebound. Hits the crossbar again. Shadow's going to knock it away, though. Corsic's going to get bumped while trying to play. Clona going to go for the shot and will get it. So Marianne will take back the lead. And gets a nice little tip there after Shawnee State committing to that first block. But I don't know why we don't have the boost meter. Uh, I forgot to update box mod. So, and I can't update it without closing the game. And we'll just have to live without seeing the, the boost level. So my apologies, everyone. We see Mary trying to go for another score, but it does get deflected. Clothing going to try to disrupt Shawnee State's play. Of course, it is actually going to get the disruption, but Craigs are going to set it up. Going to go for the shot, but Clonin's going to get a huge save there, but going to get demoed by Nightshade in the process. Shank's going to get it away from Shadow, but Nightshade's going to tip it back, passing it over to the Craigster. He's going to take the ball down the field, looking for the goal, and it hits the crossbar, and Nightshade's going to get the follow-up, and it's now tied once again. So we're just seeing the Craigster goes for the play. And that follow-up by Nightshade. So now it's tied up to a two. Three minutes, 18 seconds. So it's gone back and forth. Tip-off is going to go to Shawnee State. Clodin going to try to get away from Nightshade. Isn't able to do so. Shanks out of boost, which is a little scary here. It's going to fall back. Shadow going to try to set it up. Nightshade goes for the shot. Doesn't get it. Clodin now going to try to take the ball down the field. But I'm not sure how much he was. Oh, now he's got full boost. Where's the ball gets centered? And Shawnee State's going to go for the goal. And it's an exposed goal. And Nightshade's going to get credit uh, for that. Shadow centers it up. Nightshade goes for the shot. And known from the Pioneers is back there. Just a perfect angle to be able to go over the Pioneers' heads. And now they're up 3 to 2. 2 minutes 51 seconds remain. Shank's going to win that tip off, but Craigster is going to try to take it down the field, but loses control. Course is going to take the ball down the field, but Nightshade is able to uh, knock it back. But now going to try to set it up, but Shadow does get the block. And going to be looking for another goal. Hits the crossbar. Another follow up by Shawnee State, but this time it doesn't go in. And I wish we had those boost meters. Because I think right now, the name of the game is boost management. We're seeing that Shawnee State consistently has full boost. Meanwhile, Marietta is very starved when it comes to boost. But Shank is able to get the, the block there. But Shadow's going to try to set it up. Corsa gets it away. Now it takes it down the field. But Nightshade is able to take it back. Corsa lost control of the ball. Nightshade's trying to center it up. But it does get a little bit bumping. Clone's going to go for the shot. But Craigster does use some boost to get over there. It's for the block. Corsic now going to fly over. Tries to get the shot. And he misses. Unfortunately, that would have gone in if he got there just a little bit earlier. Shank now trying to set up the way for the Pioneers. But Corsic's going to get demoed. But Clona is able to be the backup for Corsic. And Marietta is able to tie it up. So see, Shank takes it down. And Clona is right there. Knocks it into that corner. Now it's three apiece. A minute and 33 remaining. So it's been back and forth. This could be a, whoever scores next will take that game. Let's see Shadow running out of boost though. But does win the 50-50. But Clone's going to try to get away from him. And it's going to get tipped in the air. Craigster does not gain control. Of course, he's going to try to use opportunity. But just did not get the angle he wanted. Now Shank's going to try to take control, see if he can set up a play for the Pioneers. It's a towards the center, but of is not able to go for the shot. Nightshade going to go for the goal, but a huge save there by Cloden. One minute remaining, still tied, three apiece. Craigster's going to get demoed. 
that Shank is able to get the block. Shank's now going to pass it over to Corsic, who's going to go for the shot. Hits the crossbar. Shank tries to go for the follow-up, doesn't get it. Clonin now going to hit it over. Crankster knocks it back. Now Shank's going to try to set up the play, but Shadow knocks it down. And it, what happened there? It was a double demo. Can't look at this. They both demoed and it cleared the way for Shawnee State to score. That was so unfortunate. Because now Shawnee State is up by one with 30 seconds, 36 seconds remaining. Marianne is now in a scramble mode that needs to score very quickly. There's the 30 second warning. Clona is out of boost and going to lose control of the ball. Of course, it is going to tip it towards the side. But Nightshade's going to knock it over to Shadow, who's going to try to go for a goal. Craigster going to try to get the nail in the coffin, but doesn't get it. So now Marietta has to strike, but it gets bumped towards the center. Shank going to knock it in the air. Can he get the score? But it gets knocked down by Shadow. But now the ball is in the air. Marietta has to score while the ball is up, but Nightshade's going to try to knock it down. And it's so unfortunate. Shawnee State will take that game. All from that double demo just made the difference here. But it's just so back and forth here. But now it is match point for Shawnee State. So Marion is going to have to win the next three games if they want to advance next week. But it is possible... They're just going to have to have a little bit of luck in some of these uh, fights. So right now we're just waiting for everyone uh, to be ready here. But they are going to be talking things over. But as soon as everyone's in, we will get things underway. Just waiting for the last person to join. There we go. So we should be starting any second. So here we go. It is match point for Shawnee State. Can the Pioneers claw their way back? Mercy Shawnee State already putting up a lot of aggression to try to secure this game, but Shane's gonna take the ball down the field. Nightshade trying to take it back. Corset gonna be trying to take control, but Shadow's gonna knock it away. Cloden hits it towards the other side. Of is gonna get full boost, looking for the shot, but does not get it. Now Nightshade's gonna be going for a goal, but Shank's going to knock it away. Nightshade's gonna be trying to center a pass here with the Craigster, but misses. Now Shadow's gonna be looking to play, but he gets get blocked by Clonin. And Nightshade is there for the block. So great play there by Clonin to try to disrupt things, but Nightshade's gonna take it down, but Shank's gonna take it back. Craigster's gonna knock it over. And now we're gonna see Shawnee State trying to set up the play. Of course, they're gonna knock it over, but Shadow takes it back. Shadow's going to pass it over to no one. Although Critz is going to go for a shot and it was exposed. And we're going to see Shawnee State striking first. And this is the point where Marriott has to be careful because they already know it's match point. And now Shawnee State has the lead. So if you're not careful, you're probably gonna, you may feel pressured to force plays, which could result in making mistakes. This is where teams that are behind may inadvertently double or triple commit different plays and not be ready for the backup plays. So Marriott does get the ball away from Nightshade, but Craigster is going to set it up. Cloden's going to knock it towards the center, but Shadow is there for the block. Cloden, of course, is not able to get the, the uh, follow-up. Neither Cloden, but Shank's now going to try to set it up. Shadow knocks it away. So once again, we see Pioneers very committed offensively. And both Cloden and Shank miss. And that was the uh, that would have been the perfect opportunity for Shawnee State. I think if they let Nightshade go for the shot, they would have scored. And Corsic's going to get demoed, so Nightshade's now going to try to pass it towards the center, giving Craigson the opportunity to score, but he's going to have to knock it over. Golden gets it away, three minutes remaining. Pioneer's still down by one. They have to score, and you can tell that they feel pressured for this. So I see Shawnee State trying to set up the play. is going to get demoed by Shank. Corsic is going to try to take it down. Nightshade gets bumped. Craigster is going to take, back, take it back using full boost. 
But Shane's going to knock away, flies over, looking for the shot. Nightshade's going to bump it. Quartz Cloven goes for the shot, doesn't get it. Now Nightshade's going to take the ball down the field. Of course, they're going to take full boost, but Nightshade's going to try to center it up. Shank knocks it towards the side. And obviously, Shining going to try to set up the play. Gets past Nightshade, though. Craigster looking for the opportunity. Gets bumped in the process, but Nightshade's going to go for the goal. Gives a little bit to the left, though. Craigster is going to get demoed. Clonin's going to get demoed. Nightshade's going to get it knocked away. Two minutes remaining. Pioneer's still down by one. Marion needs a score. And Shadow's going to get the block on that shot made by Gorsik. Now, of course, and Cloden are going to try to set up the play. But Nightshade looks... Well, actually, Shadow's going to take control. It's the crossbar. Shadow tried to go for the follow-up, but did not get the angle he wanted. Nightshade's going to try to center it. Gorsik knocks it oh, down the field. Craigster is there, though, to take the ball back. Although Clover going to try to disrupt things a little bit. Of course, they're going to pass to Clover. Clover's going to go for the shot. And Pioneers will score to tie up this game. Pioneers are back. Their backs are in the corner. But of course, it gets the pass on to Clover, who's able to secure the shot. So now it's tied. A minute 25 remains. Pioneers need to win this to stay alive. So a lot is riding up on this game. Of course, they're going to try to get the ball down the field. Shadow's going to disrupt it. Another pass to Clonin, but this time Craigster is able to get it away. Taking the ball down the field. Corsic gets a little bit of a bump. Shank gets it away from the goal. But it's off in that corner, which is pretty dangerous. Shadow is going to get the bump onto Corsic. Nightshade's going to go for the shot, but Clonin gets to get the save. One minute remaining. Tied one apiece. Next goal could win this. And it could be a difference between staying alive and GG's around. Shane's going to try to set up the play. Clover going for the shot, but he does not connect. But V Corsic is there for the rebound. But Craigster is there for the block. Now I'm going to try to take the ball away. Gets past two of the Pioneers. But Corsic is going to keep up the pressure. But now Shadow loses control of the ball. Reverses. 30 seconds remain. Craigster taking the ball down the field. They're looking for the series ender with this play, but Cloden gets it away. 20 seconds remain. And Cloden's going to demo Nightshade. Shane's going to go for the shot, and Pioneers will score with 15 seconds remaining. You can see the focus in their eyes. As Shank is going to be able to get the re his own rebound, and Pioneers are up by one. 16 seconds remaining. And Clone's going to go for a shot very quickly. But Nightshade's going to get the ball away. But there's still eight seconds. Anything can happen here. Pioneers just got to make sure that Shawnee State does not score within the next three seconds. Shawnee State's going to try to keep the ball near as much as possible. But it does not land. And Marietta will take game five, two to one. So it is not over yet, folks. So great job by the Pioneers to keep it up. They actually played a lot more aggressive that time. It looks like a total of seven shots uh, versus the three shots that were made by uh, Shawnee State. So it's still going to be match point for Shawnee State, but Marietta is trying to work their way back. So now let's see if they can get this to a game seven. So we're just waiting for everyone to get ready. And I mean, this is getting pretty exciting here. Maria is trying to do everything they can to fight back. Now, I think everyone's talking things over because not everyone is ready uh, just yet. Uh, probably going to use the full time here because I don't know if there's really an official timeout. Well, actually, I should have double check the rules on that. There might be a, a timeout between uh, games here, but I think they're going to utilize as much time as possible to talk things over because once again There's still a lot at stake. It's still match point for Shawnee State and the Pioneers are one game away from taking this to a game seven Winner moves on next week. Whoever loses their season is done for the semester so Everyone's going to be hopping in So let's go ahead and get things underway. Here we go game six of this best of seven series Pioneers are looking to take this to a game seven. 
Shadow's gonna get the ball away. Clona gonna try to take control. But we're gonna see Shawnee State trying to set it up. Nightshade's not gonna get the follow through. Clona out of boost though. Shank's gonna try to knock the ball down the field. Gets it by Shadow. But does not get it by Craigster. Although, of course, is going to be sending up the play for Cloden. He's going to get the bump and tries to set it up. But Shadow's going to knock it down towards the corner. Craigster's going to go for a small shot. But Cloden does get the save. And now Shank's going to knock it down the field. Shadow's going to be there to kind of set the knock it away. Cloden's going to bump it, see if they can get away. But gets juked by Shadow. Now Craigs are going to take the ball down the field, but Shank is going to snatch it right back, but loses control, used up all of his boost. Clonin's going to get demoed, so not much Merida can do offensively. Corsic tried to make a play there, but wasn't successful. Shank now going to try to put some pressure. Shadow trying to knock it towards, but Clonin is back. I'm going to try to set up something, but Craigs is going to take it right back. And we see that Marietta's the one that's putting up the offensive pressure onto Shawnee State. Corsic's gonna get demo though to stop Marietta's offense, but Clonin is not deterred by it. So he's still gonna be fighting for control. Corsic is going to center it up for the Pioneers, but Marietta's not able to follow up with the shot. Now Clonin goes for a light tap, but Nightshade is there for the block. And now we're going to see Shawnee State. Well, I thought they were going to try to be offensive, but Shank takes it right back. And Shadow's the one that's going to get demoed by Shank. Ball gets tipped in the air. Clonin's going to fight for the 50-50 and loses it. So now Shank's going to knock the ball in the air. Going to head over towards Clonin. Going to try to set up the shot, but doesn't get it. Of course, it's going to have to fall back. And tries to get it away from the goal. Fortunately, they do. But now Shawnee State's going to try to set up a play. But you do see that Shank's going to get it away from Shawnee State. Of course, it's going to bounce. Trying to set, pass it over to Cloden. Who's trying to go for the shot. But it's going to get bumped by Nightshade. Takes the corner boost. So now he's going to try to pass it over to Corset to go for the shot. But it gets tipped up by Shadow. Corset's going to try to... Well, it gets centered. Shadow tries to go for the play, doesn't get it, gets actually bumped by Cloden. 2.15 remains, and it's been very back and forth. Although, I would say Mary has been playing more aggressive this time because they know they have to take this game to go to a game seven. But now we see Shawnee State looking for their opportunity. Shadow going to try to set up the play for the Craigs, who's going to go for the shot, but actually gets blocked by Nightshade. And Clone's gonna go for the shot, but doesn't get the demo. And we're getting some packet loss. Hopefully the connection does fix itself soon. Of course, it goes to the shot. Craigster is gonna get the block for it. But it looks like connections are stable again. Shank goes to the shot, doesn't get it. And Corsic goes for another shot, but Nightshade is gonna get the block that time. So now Craigster's gonna take the ball down the field. Corsic gets a little bit of a tap. Fights with Corsic over it, but Shank's gonna knock it towards the center. Shawnee State's looking for the opportunity to score. But Corsic waited very patiently for that. But now Craigster going to try to set the play. Shank does knock it and lobs into the air. But Nightshade does get the block for that. Now Corsic does get the tap. Nightshade's going to get bumped. Craigster goes for the shot, but it does get knocked away. So now one minute remains. And Shadow's going to go for the goal. Does not get the angles looking for. It's still 0-0. Zero to zero. This is another one of those where whoever scores, that might be the game shot for this one. Which is important because the Pioneers need this to go to Game 7. Shawnee State, though, they're going to be able to score with 41 seconds. Marietta was just nowhere near. They committed everything they got, and Shadow found the angle finally and able to give Shawnee State the lead, and that might give them the match. Marietta has 41 seconds to respond. Now the pressure is on. They have to strike. Clonin's going to try to take the ball down the field, but did not get the boost, but loses it to Shadow. He's now going to try to take the ball down the field himself. Gets bumped. 30 seconds remain. Marietta is out, running out of time. Clonin going to try to set up the play. Gets one juke. Does not get the other, though. Corsic's now going to try to set it up. Clonin's got pretty much full boost. But the ball's going to the wrong side of the field. 
So now Cloden gonna try to set up a 10 seconds of remaining. Pioneer's down by one. They have to score in the next five seconds. Nightshade's gonna try to deny that by getting the demo onto Corsic. Ball's in the air, but no one from the Pioneers are there. So Shining State's gonna try to knock it down and that is going to be the series. And you can tell that it's just a little frustrating there that they were holding their own as much as they could. But it was not enough. Shawnee State is going to take the series 4-2. to two. So, I mean, it's just back and forth there. But that that's the thing about Rocket League. It, one opening is all it can take to make a difference between moving on and going home. So, Shawnee State will be moving on next week. And, unfortunately, the, the Rocket League Season 4 of Marietta College will conclude today. Now, there will still be some more things going on. Like I said, uh, in a, about a half hour, we're going to have our special Ultimate Academia Showdown. Uh, we will take down the stream first, but we will bring it back up in about a half hour uh, to prepare for that. And then we will have some more matches for you on Saturday. So, yeah, the season's winding down, but we still have some more things for you. So, for all the latest updates with what's going on with Marietta College Esports, please be sure to follow us here on Twitch, X, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, I can't talk. Shoutouts to all of our supporters again. We want to thank HyperX for being the official peripheral sponsor of Marietta College Esports. But we also want to thank Vibe Blue Light, uh, Elgato, MSI, Incrediware, uh, Kovacs, and Over the Moon Pizza for all their support. And thank all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your gifts. We truly appreciate it. And we hope to see you in about a half hour. Thank you for watching.